there are whole solutions available on SDN now that weren't available until just recently, but the, most importantly, there's a community that's come up around SDN. It's not just one or two companies that are working it. There's an entire industry shift. There are safe places that anyone can start with SDN. Typically, most enterprises will choose to start in a lab or focus on a feature they'd like in their network but haven't yet deployed. A feature like visibility, tap and aggregation systems, or a network that services a very specific pocket of the environment, say a management network, a guest network, or something like that may typically be a place to start. Really any enterprise can go and explore SDN. The case for it will depend on what the service delivery model is, how the network that's in place today is functioning, whether there's a need for new services so that SDN could be brought in as part of a tech refresh, but an interesting way of a tech refresh. But it doesn't really matter the size or type of IT shop. I mean, if a shop outsources all of its IT to a cloud provider, then they're using SDN without even knowing it in most cases. People who wanted to get involved in IT, even if IT isn't their primary area of responsibility, could get involved without the expenses of hardware slowing them down. SDN represents the ability to roll out entire services in code just as easily as one can roll out applications in a virtual server environment. Now that there are APIs available for more and more products, a network engineer can focus on programming the network more so than just plumbing and configuring it.